Okay, so here I'm going to show how to disassemble or open up a HP NV. Um, the model number's not here, but the product ID is T3M04AV. So I'm going to show you how to open this up. Um, so first you want to remove all these screws. Um, they're all um, Phillips um, PH1 or, or J1. So there's one, two, three, four, five here. There's one here holding in the CD drive. When you remove that one, you can pull the CD drive out. Um, there's another one here, here, and then under, there's one in the middle. There's two stickers here that you have to remove. I use like a needle, and you just go underneath an edge, or you can use like a small flathead, anything that you can get underneath to pull on it. Um, one way to help is you just press on the sticker, and it'll kind of cause it to like bow up a little bit so that way you can get the screwdriver underneath there or the needle um, then there's one screw here there's two on these once you get that out you have to pull this up so you can pull here um, you can and then you just yank it off it'll unclip um, and then underneath there'll be a screw here and then there's another screw um, there'll be another screw here and here and then there's two on this one same thing you just pull this up afterwards and then there's one screw here once you do that then it's kind of tough but you'll have to use a lot of force um, I already opened it up just so you can see but um, basically this piece let me show you here this piece um, will be um, in pretty tight so you'll have to like reach in with your fingernails and then just pry it out um, you can use that or a pry tool and you just pry all the way around pry all the way around on all the sides um, once you do that you can like pull up on one corner yank on this a little bit make sure it unclips it'll be caught here so you can't just pull this whole thing up you have to slide it somewhat back so let me show you here so what you want to do because it'll be caught on this hinge here you have to lift it up and while you're lifting it up kind of wiggle it and get it to unlatch so I just like push on the hinge thing here and that helps so you push that out with your thumb while you pull it up and then that comes out so you can see how this is it's it goes underneath that that's why it kind of gets stuck and once you get that out then you can see the hard drive here first thing you want to do is unlatch this that way this cable won't get damaged because um, to remove this hard drive there's two pieces that stick underneath um, these little things plastic here so what you do is once you get that out you can go towards the front here and you kind of just lift it up and once you lift it up this will disconnect and then you just wiggle this out so you can take that out these rubber pieces you need to transfer to the new hard drive um, if you want there's the keyboard connector here um, this keyboard is actually melted in place with these, so you won't be able to replace just the keyboard without like gluing a bunch of stuff in. So usually what you'd want to do is probably replace the whole palm rest. Um, there's also the trackpad, RAM, there's another slot so you can add another stick if you want. Processor soldered in place. The BIOS or the BIOS battery or CMOS battery. So if you need to reset the BIOS and it's stuck, you can always like take this battery out and then drain it, um, or you can uh, short it out, short this pin here with the one back here with the metal thing, and that'll drain it. Um, and then you got the connector here for the battery. If you want to replace that, if you bent these or something, speakers here, another speaker here. Then you got, uh, I believe this is for the charging port. It curls around and then it goes all the way under this. You have to take the hinge out, you can flip it back. Then I believe this is a power button. So if you need to replace the power button board, you can. There's the SD card slot and two USB ports and the ethernet is also on a separate board if those break. You have this cable connecting it. Then the LCD connector and the fan and the wireless cards same as other ones you just pull those cables from the back it'll pop out put them back you just snap them back down so this one everything's pretty nicely laid out once you get that back cover off then it's pretty straightforward just remove these connectors if you need to replace anything this is the optical bay dry, um, connector so if you need to replace that but that's pretty much it pretty much once you're done you just snap everything back in the way you took them out 
and that's and you're good to go. All right. One thing I forgot to mention um, to remove this, um, you have to be careful because there's this cable here. But basically, you just pull on the edge, kind of grab the top and bottom, and just pull it. It'll come out. And then same thing with the other side. Just make sure, be careful not to pinch this cable or you can break it. You just pull this. Kind of tough to do with one hand, but yeah. Basically, grab it and just pull it. And do that. Pull the top and bottom. Wiggle it out. And yeah. Then just put that back on the other one. And you're good to go. All right.